Hello, people. It's a sad day. I'd like to give my condolences to the family of Steve McNair. NFL quarterback. He was one of those quarterbacks that, that, that made you think. You know, as a young black kid, we didn't have too many black quarterbacks. There was a Warren Moon. And then Randall Cunningham, and then um, Slash, you know, uh, and Steve McNair. And then you have the group that you have now. Um, it's not every day you have to go through so many deaths. Last week, it was Farrah Fawcett, Michael Jackson, and uh, the guy from the infomercial. We had Carl Malden the other day, the guy from uh, Streets of San Francisco. I'm a Bay Area kid, so I used to watch that. And I used to watch Steve McNair. I've always been, and I will always be, a Raiders fan. But... And McNair played in that Super Bowl and they almost won it. You know, he became a McNair fan. He had guts. I mean, the man played beat up for a couple of years, hurt. Um, you know, shoot. What do I say? McNair was, you know, hey, that's how you, hey, it happens. Things happen and lately, um, young people won't recognize this. They won't see what's really going on. Uh, I'm going to change this video and I want you to reflect. I want those of you who are out there who have met you know, football players go ahead and leave a, a message on the bottom. Tell me which NFL star you met. You tell me which icon you've met. I've met several football players. I've met several baseball players. And I've met several musicians. I never did get to meet Steve McNair. I got to see him play over and over, time and time again on TV. I've got to use him and play with him in that Madden. So, just take this time, because when you age, and you get up in age, and you think, you think of all the names, and all the pieces, people, and all the pieces of the puzzle that you call your life, all the actors, and actresses, and stars, and sports figures, and, 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 and fly-by-night fame, all these people that we see on our eyes, we see them on our eyes and in our mind. These people that we see that we've grown up watching have all became a part of us. We've seen them so much, we've heard their names so much, and some of us actually think that we know some of these people. For all of this man's fans, I feel for you. For this man's family, I can only touch on the losses that I've had, and ain't none of them ever been good. For people out there who don't like me, you say my videos are old news and late and, and boring, I'm not sitting up here with no suit on, the green screen, a pair of glasses trying to act giddy. I am that fat slob that sits on the couch every Sunday and turns on the TV. And when my game is on, I'm watching my game. And when my game's not on, I'm watching my favorite players. And I know the whole NFL is hurting right now. And I always say no man need die. 
I only say that in cases like this. Love is a terrible thing to lose, a terrible thing to have, and a terrible thing to be misunderstood. Some people fall in love with the notion of being with someone. Someone also may want to be the last person that they, hey, it's, nobody's going to have you. Regardless of whatever happened in that kind of, regardless of what actually went down, two people are lost. The world has lost another iconic figure, not as big as the last one. But around sports circles in certain towns, just as big. And in one family's heart, just the biggest loss. To his kids, may you be blessed. And may your father's talents never go unnoticed. To the rest of you out there, think real hard about the icons and the people that you've met and just write it down in the bottom. Give Mr. You know, Nair some love. Tell a little story if you can. When people read your comments, they, they really want to know what you felt from the video. Don't feel nothing for me. I'm here. You feel for this man who's no longer here no more. You feel for the person who left with him. And you feel for his family. Until next time. Have a good life. Be good. Stay good. Keep away from the dark.